So it's Monday here and it's race day. We're back at the track. It is cold. I'm not sure if you can tell by people walking around, but it's, it's freezing today. Not at all like it's been the other days. Um, we are looking forward to, to race day. We have Dennis Nielsen in the first run. Uh, the only thing that is a little bit concerning is this weather. It kind of went back to winter overnight. So the track is cold, the weather is cold. Uh, we're making some adjustments, changing head gaskets on the car and doing some other stuff to make sure we get the car down track. Um, a cold track isn't the best, especially going out earlier today for the first run. But we'll see what we can do. We'll definitely do our very best. And it's not the first time we're racing on a cold surface or on these conditions. Uh, but usually it doesn't change overnight quite like this. But yeah, I'm going to take my thicker jacket on and go help the guys and then we'll fuel up and get ready for this day. We changed head gaskets because of the weather conditions and we just finished, finished the last little touching bits on the motor. Yeah, that's good for so yesterday we thought that the blow belt snapped right before the finish line but it was actually the auto shut off system that is on the car. Uh, so the blow belt actually stayed on until later down in the shutdown area where it actually came off. But uh, these, these ones to come off if it upsets the car in any way, so usually during a run if you have tire shake or cylinder out, the engine isn't really acting as it should or something, then the blow belt can come off. As you can see here, I have a little hole here. <laughs> I had uh, this part that covers the cage come off around mid-track. Uh, half of it, it was a carbon fiber piece, it flew off, uh, so we removed the other one. <laughs> I get awkward, I get camera shy. Should, should I ask John if he can speak in his Swedish? Give you some <laughs> Yes! Still remember it. <laughs> get in now. Because <laughs> usually I jump and like sit on this, but it's, it's nothing here, so it feels very strange getting into it. Yep. That was a good one. 
We had to wait for a long time before since they had a clean up. Uh, it's always a little hard to sit there like that for so long. But I had such yeah, a good feeling when we started up the so car. It was yeah, just, right, it felt super problems. good, everything. So, no, it was good. It felt really, really good. Uh, definitely a new PB in speed. 316, I've never been that quick <laughs> or that fast. So, uh, and I think 380, which is really, really good. I oh, felt amazing. <laughs> Okay, so we just did first round of elimination uh, and then we've got the car ready, everything is serviced and fixed, uh, everything looked really good. We warm up and we're just ready to go for next round. Uh, this was a really good pass for us, we ran a 3.8.0 and yeah, really quick, but the miles per hour was where it was at for me because like we went at 3.17 with a 8 uh, and or with a 75 and I've never been that quick ever, so that's like 511 uh, kilometers per hour and I've never been over 500 before so it was a nice milestone uh, but also it was actually the fastest ever eight mile run in Europe so we clocked a speed of 287.39 and that's quick or that's fast <laughs> so yeah no we're really happy car was doing it felt just awesome in the car uh, it was moving around a little bit a little bit more than it did before, but I felt like we caught it nice and I'm really happy. So we're, we're just getting ready now to go down for round two semi-finals against India Airbacker. And Susan will be in the semi-finals on a solo. So we'll see what happens after this, but yeah, we're ready. We're bringing it. What a race! Look at that! It's going to be Ida with a 3.77! 321 miles an hour! Ladies and gentlemen, the quickest, the fastest ever run in Europe. I think Europe, I think uh, Runa almost cracked a smile. <laughs> Well, they were 0.12 to 0.13 on the tree, yeah, but yeah. then everything from there on in was that Edelbrock car all boys. the way through. We're no longer the 378 boys. No. They've got to change quickly. good race as well. Yeah, we have. That was, that was a good race. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and you got 390, wasn't it? 390. Oh, <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> I'm usually not so emotional, but that was, oh, that was a good one. It felt really good. I had to drive it quite a bit because it was moving around, but it came back to me when I wanted to, so 
it felt really good and the whole pass just I know and <laughs> it just feels so good like winning an important run setting both records resetting our own European record in ET and then setting a new European record in speed this is big <laughs> in England, you can get out of the car, you can stay there, whatever's easier either. Um, but uh, a 380, over 310 miles an hour again, uh, your first event win here at Santapod. Yeah, it feels really good and when I came into this event I hadn't been over 301 miles per hour, yeah. so I was really wanted to run some bigger miles per hour and also go over you know, 500 kilometers an hour and this weekend had just been amazing for us. You well, know, it really has been, yeah. Str struggle coming in and then just, you know, do you know that today is exactly on the day a year ago that we run the first 70 and set the European record? Exactly on the day. It was, and this year you <laughs> took, you reset your own European record. Well, both ends of it, ET and speed. How good are your team, Aruna? Oh, they're amazing. I mean, and since we've been struggling, and everybody just kept their head down, just worked everything out, hadn't, you know. Nobody complains, everybody has pulls together as a team and this is the result, so I, I couldn't be more happy. Well, Top Fuel really does, as I said yesterday, kick your ass, doesn't it? Sometimes the highs are really high, the lows are really lows, um, but enjoy this one because this one will do for a long time. Thank you, we sure will. Ida <laughs> <laughs> Zetas from everybody, for Edelbrock, KW Parts, Strand AX, and everybody from all first Top Fuel win here at Santa Pod, as you can see, she's absolutely oh. delighted. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you. Well done. We drop the wall and see it. So it can't get out when it's stuck up here. Got some spare parts. So it happens sometimes. It's racing. It is what it is. So, weekend is over. We had a fantastic one. We came into this not having gone down track at all in like 11 or 12 runs. So, like August last year, we have been spinning tires. Uh, it was, it's been a tough one, but everybody has just, you know, kept their head down and did everything needed to get the car down. And even when we came in here and had a frustrating Saturday with two core fires, and still not making it down the track. Um, everybody has kept their cool. And then on Sunday, it just, it just started to come together with good runs. And today has just been fantastic. So it was really cool today. When I woke up, I got a memory up on my Facebook that said that this day, 
last year, like the exact, exactly one year ago, we set the European record of uh, 378 and I was the first 70 in Europe. And I thought to myself, how could it be one year? But that's because we raced on Monday this year, we raced on uh, Sunday last year. So it was exactly one year ago in the exact same lane that we reset the, the European record now and also got the speed record. So no, I, we couldn't be more excited. And to be honest, the car, the engine has looked great throughout the weekend. And the guys have just done us such a fantastic job. And I feel so safe with everyone I have around me. And uh, I, there's nothing I could say that I want to improve on. Uh, of course, we always want to be want to improve and we want to do this all over again. But this has been such an amazing weekend, so can't wait to do it again in here. Now we're going to go celebrate, so we're waiting for uh, the award ceremony, taking the car apart, and um, that is the fun. Your runner-up this weekend did set a new speed record at 320 miles an hour. She was your number one qualifier, and to be fair, she had a pretty decent weekend. Let's hear it then, for Suzanne Kalin! <laughs> your event winner and now European speed record holder at 321 miles an hour but more impressively the EG record holder at 3.77 seconds. The team were outstanding, the car was outstanding and the driver, well watch out. Ladies and gentlemen, your event winner in FIA Top Girl, Ida Zetterstrom! Congratulations to Ida Zetterstrom taking the win there in top field. Suzanne, the runner-up. Now I've got the feeling this battle is going to rage all season long in the European Tour.